Hey guys, second fan of the night, and isn't this interesting? This is a Crompton Greaves with a switch housing. This is the first one I've seen like this. It doesn't have the little small switch housing, and it, it doesn't have the uh, the later version with the you know the ball socket and the stamped motor. Um, this is an actual like switch housing um, with a speed coil in it, and it's interesting because. The way that it was wired, um, I don't know if anybody had been messing with it before. It did look like a hodgepodge of wire nuts, but <coughs> it looked like the original pull chain, and it was definitely the original coil because it was riveted to the um, uh, riveted to the switch housing. Um, but the way it was originally wired, it just had medium low off. There was no way to get it directly to high, and. Um, and so I added, there was a light kit pull chain on it in case you wanted to add a light. And I, um, I put a bypass pull chain there so you can just bypass the whole speed control and go to high. There's probably a, another way to do it um, with different pull chains. And it, maybe it used it like an L123. Not an mm -hmm. L123. Maybe it used like an L12. I don't know. But I didn't, I didn't feel like digging deep into it. And I just wanted to see uh, how it performed. Um, and again, this is how it came. It's interesting. I, I think that it, you know, you'll notice that the switch housing is a lighter brass than the blade brackets and, and, and the little finial. I think it's just with one of those cheap bullshit brass and it just faded. Uh, but it could have been this color. I don't know. I've got no way of knowing. Uh, just this is another thing that I'd never seen before and wanted to check out. So um, we're going to start it on low. Okay, so um, point three four. Not a bad low speed actually. It's a little faster than right. I like, but it's not for a transformer for a built in for such a fast spinner. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. There's a little bit of hum from the transformer too. It's very faint. I only know it's there because when we were troubleshooting it, uh, I I could hear it. Yep. So let me do. Uh... Oh yeah, I should do. About 21 watts. Half, Half a power, power factor. Yep. Thanks. Here's medium. That, that pull chain to the right, yeah, is the low and medium, the way we rigged yep. this up. So 0. 0.58. 51 watts. And about three quarters of a power factor. Now what I'm going to do is show... If I just pull this one, it overrides it. Yep. Best thing we added. That's what it didn't have. And um, for the life of me, I don't know. I'm trying to look and see if I can see what they... Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I should do power thing. 84 watts. And a power factor one, I'll call it that. It was like 0.97. And, yeah, the airflow on this. Oh, yeah, we know how these are going to be. Yeah, it's, I don't know what I call it, gold line? It's. I mean, yeah. It's, it's pretty close, it feels like it. Because the metal bladed ones are definitely um, in the same, you know, they're gold line-ish. And, um, mm. and the wood bladed ones really don't seem to move any less than the metal bladed ones. No. I mean, these are... They really did us a big favor importing these to the U.S. They yes, were not a, um... they did. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the airflow from that over here where I'm sitting, which is an easy 10 feet away, is yeah. just crazy. Yep. So here's, uh... Yeah, I'm looking at the emails from the person that sold it to me. And they said, pull chain for light is broken. Pull chain for fan still works. So I don't know. It didn't have a light pull chain when, uh, when we 
got in there. It was just an empty... Yeah, empty socket or empty hole there. Yeah, so I don't know. Still a long spin down. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if it was never ran on high, then it probably had pretty good bearing life. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if it was wired like this from the factory. Hmm. Okay, well, there's no reverse on this. Nope. So I'm going to go right to the decade box because it's set to high. Where do you think it's going to start? Oh, I think it's going to start at least at two. I'm going to start low on this one. Okay, I mean, I think I think you're right about two, so I either can go with one or three. Hmm. And I'm going to go with three because I think okay. one's a little bit ambitious. Right. It... All right, well, here we go. One, no, two, yep. And Metal Pete wins the bet. Mm hmm I knew it was going to start pretty low with the way this thing goes. Yeah. Okay, here's three. Four. Five. Oh, and five is a perfect low. Yeah. I mean, I'll call it call it that. <clears throat> I'd say so. Yeah. Six. Yep, okay. Six is a little fast already, so I'm going to go to seven. And eight. And I would, I can work with this for medium low if I had a five and an eight or five eight and thirteen. Yeah, it's a little on the slow side, but it's not bad. I don't really say it's on the slow side. Maybe not. I no, mean, it's perfect for a medium low. It's, oh, medium low. I was thinking medium high. No, Sorry. I'm at eight medium oh, low. Oh yeah, this is fast for medium low. My fault, guys. Yeah, I'm saying this is. I'd work with this. I'd go. Yeah. Nine. 10, 12, 13, okay, here's 13. Thir yeah, 5, 8, 13 is going to be pretty much ideal for this. Oh, very. In fact, yeah, you still got room to go up to high, you know, it's not going to be too close to high either. I think we got plenty of room. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. <coughs> See, I hit the high switch. I'm trying to think where it. I remember it where like, it. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember where it dropped down to. You're right. Okay, okay. I think it was point seven two seven three. I was gonna say it was point eight something, but that was the starting current. You right. Were right. That it was point seven. Uh... You're, we're at twenty. <coughs> um. Okay, twenty two. Twenty three. 24, it's just kind of, kind of drops, 25, it's kind of leveling right out, I'm at 30 and it doesn't really, 
Yeah. It, okay, it goes over the nose hair, and I've had to make a few clicks before it did anything. Yeah. So, I don't think this really goes over. It really doesn't. It's funny, because it's not that cold in here. I don't... The thermostat there say what temperature it is? That little plastic thermostat there? No? There's nothing. It okay. doesn't read anything. Okay, there's no battery in it then. Um, but yeah, it's not that cold in here. Alexa, what's the temperature in here? Does she have a sensor in here? The average temperature of the home is 67 degrees. Okay, that's not in here either. Anyhow, my point was, it's, it's like, it's probably like, what, 50 degrees in here, maybe? Yeah. It's, it's, it's chilly, but not cold. Right. And when that thing's on high, it's, it turns to cold in here. Oh, I know. Okay, oh. anything else we need to do? Yeah, solid state. Okay, so do you think it's going to be... Wh wh where's your bet, Metal Pete? On the quiet side. Okay. Trying to... Silent or bedroom quiet? I would say bedroom quiet. I'm going to go with... I'll go with silent then, because the last couple of times I've gone with living room quiet, I've gotten fooled. Yeah. Nope. I should have gone with living room. I would have won. Yep. You just never know with these. That might even be out of living room. And then the noisy. Yeah. Curse you. Could be, I mean, could, the, the rubber grommets and the blades are pretty old. We could replace those and, t and you know, tighten the, the blade brackets, but... Yeah, I mean, there's a few things you can do to make it a little quieter, right? But um, it's never going to be silent like that. I mean, I I don't know. Was that over living room or was that living room? Would you say? I think it's a little over. A little over. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's okay. There is one last test. Zero and high. Yes, zero to high. Okay. Yep, 0.87 is what it inrushed up to, and... Oh, that's even higher than I thought. Yep. These have a bit of an inrush, I mean... So, when I started testing for inrush... Yeah? So, those cast Daytons that were in my parents' garage used to keep burning out solid-state controls, and I don't know why, because the two fans together would only draw, like, a couple amps, and I would get a 5-amp control, so I thought they must have had, like, a really high inrush, like, several amps. So when I started testing for inrush, that's what I was looking for, but I've never gotten that to show up on the meter. So if any fans do have that high of an inrush, it's so quick that the meter can't catch it. But sure. Okay, so we got plenty more fans to do. Yep. So uh, keep watching.